So let's demonstrate some insulin for you. One part of a skill you're gonna to need to be comfortable with is mixing insulin, okay? So remember what we talked about. If I'm going to administer insulin, I have to have an insulin syringe, okay? So I have my insulin syringe, I have my alcohol, and I have some different types of insulin here. Now, you will learn more about this in pharmacology, but I will show you how to draw them up, okay? We have regular insulin here and we have NPH insulin. We have to draw these up in a very specific order. If I was to get some of this NPH insulin into this insulin, it would start to break it down, okay? So I need to not be able to, I need to be very careful to not contaminate these or mix them in an improper way. So the rule here is clear to cloudy. I draw up clear first and then I draw up cloudy. Now I'm going to be very careful to not inject, remember how we inject that back into the vial, not inject the other type of insulin into the wrong vial. So let's show you how to do this. So I have my clear, regular, I have my NPH cloudy, and I have my insulin syringe. This is the needle, which I will show you is already attached, okay? Again, I'm gonna reattach that. And when I take off this end, there's my plunger for my syringe, okay? Again, our units. So let's say we're giving 10 units of regular insulin and 10 units of NPH. They can be mixed in the same syringe as long as they're going right into the patient, okay? So first things first, I draw up air. I need to keep those pressures the same. So I have drawn up 20 units of air. Now, these are reusable vials, which means I have to clean the tops of these vials before I access them. So I scrub these vials with alcohol for about 20 seconds. The last vial I am going to access to draw up insulin will be the cloudy, right? So I need to inject 10 units of air into my cloudy vial first. So double C's, cap off. I'm going to access this vial and I am going to inject 10 units of air and leave it, okay? All I've done is push in 10 units of air and I pull out of that vial. Now, I access my regular vial, I push in my 10 units of air, and I draw back 10 units of insulin. So I have my 10 units of insulin, I pull out of that vial, and I've already put my air in, and that's why we do it in this way, because I can't inject air at this point with insulin in the syringe. So now I access the NPH <clears throat> and I draw out very slowly, okay? We do not want to push much back in because we don't want to push regular back in this vial, okay? So I've got my 20 units of mixed regular and NPH insulin. One-handed scoop, recap, and go into my patient, okay? So when I give a subcutaneous injection, that means that I am administering at a 45 degree angle. Not five to 15, not 90, 45, okay? So I'm gonna go into my patient. I'm going to, of course, wash my hands, don gloves, clean the site by doing a circular motion at the injection site on the inside out and allowing that to air dry. When I administer my injection, I'm going to uncap the needle. I'm going to hold the skin secure, the tissue secure, and I'm going to go in at a 45 degree angle. Now, with shots, as I'm sure you have experienced, do not hesitate. When you're going to inject the whole entire length of this needle into the tissue, do not push this in slowly. You get that nice jab, okay? Once this is jabbed in, I secure that needle with this hand and I push in the fluid slowly. Wait just a moment for that to absorb and pull back out. Dirty needle straight into the sharps. <laughs>